So one minute more I'm waiting and <clears throat> after that we are going to start. And Yes, uh, let's get started. First, what we are going to do, um, <clears throat> I just write down the uh, slow flow, but actually we are going to uh, uh, moving more sh shoulders and upper uh, back. So before that, uh, I invite you lie down on your back. And first, we will stay one minute, lie down on your back. And after that, I will tell you, you are going to do something else. Let's lie down. Yeah. Then you lie down, uh, legs extended, arms by your side, palms facing up or down, your choice. And now first stay there and checking from the crown of the head, back of the head, and back of the neck. And upper back and shoulder blades and notice the right and left and shoulders right and left collarbones right and left and arms and notice are they equal arms pressing down are you feeling same sensation right arm and left arm right palms and left palms right elbow and left elbow right shoulder and left shoulder right collarbone left collarbone right shoulder blade left shoulder blade And just observe and notice, are they equal? Do you feel the same sensation, both sides? And neck. And how is your neck in this position? and your back of the head and finally come to chin 
do you think? As chin, natural posture, or maybe a little bit stick out, maybe a little bit goes down, just find the center and just notice how is it. Don't move and try not to change anything. Be just observing how is our arms, shoulders, upper back, head, neck, And after that, when you are ready, inhale, lift your arms up and all the way bring the arms over your head on the floor. Palms facing up. And notice in this position and what happened. Your neck, your chin, your face. And notice both arms touching on the floor. Are they on the same level? Maybe one arm a little bit higher than the others. Maybe both arms just hovering in the air. Try not to change anything. Just notice. And how is your upper back? How is your shoulder blades? And now notice your face. Relax or clenching the jaw and relax. You can only change the relax, try to relax the face muscles. Notice that maybe one elbow lower than the others. And after that, slowly move, bring the arms again by your side and bend the knees, feet on the floor. And bring the right knee towards the right chest. Try not to touch the right leg and only on its own, try to bring the right knee towards the right chest, but lower back buttocks on the floor and keep breathing. And now exhale down, right foot down and lift the left foot up and knees towards the chest. And again, notice the right hip and left hip. And after that, bring the both feet on the floor. And now this time, palms facing up, you know, arms a little bit uh, away from the body. And feet just under the knees. And now when you are ready, exhale and engage the belly, tuck the tailbone under and peeling up vertebra, vertebra and come up the bridge pose and come to on the shoulders, upper back, neck is long, chin to sky and chest to chin. Press down the ten toes, upper legs parallel each other. And now when you are ready, exhale and slowly rolling down vertebra, vertebra and last one, buttocks on the floor. And now here, arms is changing and this time robot arms, elbows on the floor and palms facing each other, but elbows close the body. And again, when you inhale, Exhale and engage the belly and inhale all the way up, slowly vertebra, vertebra and come to bridge. And keep breathing 
And you can use the elbows kind of anchor point. And notice this time maybe it's much more easier. And keep breathing. And now next exhale, slowly rolling down vertebra, vertebra. And last one, buttocks on the floor. And this time, arms coming again over your head on the floor, palms facing up. And one more last uh, bridge in this posture. And when you are ready, exhale, engage the belly and inhale. Peeling up slowly, slowly, and all the way up, and come again, upper back and shoulders, neck is relaxed, and chin away from the chest, and keep breathing. And now when you are ready, slowly exhale and peeling down again and with control and butter comes to the floor and arms still over your head. And now when you are ready, inhale, lift the arms and palms facing each other and arms parallel in front of you. And here and Spread the fingers and try to reach something, just only arms. So that's why it's the shoulders away from the floor and reaching up, neck relax and reaching up, reaching up, spread the fingers. And after that, exhale and this time push the shoulder blades towards the floor and try to press the press the shoulder blades into the floor and keep breathing but nothing moving only pressing the shoulder blades to the floor and now when you are ready again inhale reach up reach up reach up reach up shoulder off the floor and keep breathing, reach up, reach up, reach up, and exhale, relax, arms all the way coming down. And now from here, knees towards the chest and hands on the knees and rocking side to side. And now when you are ready and slowly and peeling up, hands on the knees and find your way and again, sit upright position. So, and I'm going to sit on the bolster. You can sit on the blocks or find a comfortable cross leg or hero posture. So what we discover, <clears throat> when you lie down on the floor, I show you first uh, side way. If your chin not just neutral neck and spine parallel the floor, when you lie down, if your chin happening like this is stick up, this is the number one <clears throat> saying something to you. Number two, if your arms all the way up over your head on the floor, if you can't reach the floor, this is saying something. So <clears throat> what is saying? Very common, uh, we have all these kind of problems. Round shoulder, number one. Number two, round upper back. Both of them or one of them, round shoulder and round upper back. The other things, when you sitting like this, <clears throat> if you can't bring the arms all the way up vertical the sky, I hope I can bring up. 
like this. And if it, this is difficult, and this is the, another message, round shoulder or round upper back. So that's why we are going to work, uh, we are going to do a flow uh, movement, and we are going to work shoulders and upper back. And I hope you can remember later on, or I, I'm going to put on the uh, YouTube, time to time you can do uh, this practice, especially if you work or used to work at the office 20, 30 years, and you have probably one of the uh, things. So, and let's start. <clears throat> Sit upright position. And first, inhale, arms coming over your head as much as you can bring. Maybe you are here, it's fine. Try not to pull and push anything. Wherever you are and stay there. Maybe your arms like this is fine. And after that, holding the opposite elbows. And now when you are ready, exhale, lean the one side and press down the sit bones. Inhale, come to center. And exhale, lean the other side. Inhale, come to center. And this time we are going to twist. Exhale, twist one side and hips is not moving. Inhale, come to center. And exhale, twist the other side. Inhale, come to center. And release the arms. And this time on your lower back and holding the, again, opposite elbows. And stay here. And notice the sensation. And one more time, inhale, arms all the way up. And again, holding the opposite elbows. And now exhale, lean the one side. Inhale, come to center. And exhale, lean the other side. Inhale, come to center. And again, twist, exhale, twist one side. Inhale, come to center. And exhale, twist the other side. And inhale, come to center. And release the arms. Again, arms on your lower back and holding the opposite elbows. And now slowly release the arms. And this time interlock the fingers behind the head. And try to bring the elbows back as much as you can. And now when you are ready, exhale, round your upper back and elbows come closer. Chin to chest. Inhale. Opening, elbows go back, exhale, round, inhale, opening. And now from here, exhale, lean the one side, inhale, come to center, and exhale, lean the other side. Inhale, come to center and release the arms. 
And now from here, come to cactus arms. And now when you are ready, three times, exhale, round your back, elbow and, and palms, chin down. Inhale, opening, elbows go back. Exhale, elbow, palms and chin down. Inhale, opening. Exhale, closing. Last one, inhale, opening. And exhale, release the arms all the way, come down. And now inhale, arms coming parallel to the floor, T posture. And we are going to pulsing up and down 20 times. And when you are ready, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Come to center. And now forward and back 20 times. This is the pulsing. You don't need to go all the way. You're not big movement. Quite a small movement. And now ready. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Come to center. And now circle, very small circle. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and reverse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and slowly all the way come down. Palms on the thighs. And I love this moment. Because we burn the energy, we create the energy and use the energy. And now feel the sensation. And I like this moment because it's the proof of when you are living, you are alive and you have energy. And now from here, bring the hands on your belly and not top of each other and just fingertips touching slightly. And if you like, change your sitting position because maybe long time you sit in uh, same position, please make your adjustment. And now Spine elongate, sit bone pressing down, eyes close or gazing down. And now slowly, gradually bring your inhale and exhale all the way come down to the belly. So in this position, you can see when you inhale, your fingertips slightly apart. When you exhale, your fingertips come back and touching again each other. When you lie down in your bed, and this is the good for also go to sleep and focusing the fingertips how is moving when you inhale, fingertips separated, and you exhale, fingertips gently touching again. And 
and after that bring the hands each side of the rib cage and this time bring your inhale and exhale side of the rib cage so this time your fingertips is not touching each other but you can feel the right and left ribs opening and closing. This is more side way opening and a little bit of course forward opening. This rib cage in here is the moving like if you visualize like a bucket handle movement. And after that, slowly move the hands on your more upper chest. On your is actually is the breast. And this time bring your attention to this area and inhale and exhale more from the chest. And after that, bring your fingertips, just curly, make the curl uh, tip of the um, fingertips and on your uh, collarbones. And now try to bring your inhale and exhale on the top of the chest. Even some, you can feel some neck movement, maybe. And after that, slowly bring the hands, palms on the thighs. And this time, can you bring the whole body, whole torso, from the belly up to, up to uh, collarbones? Subtle, gentle movement. And you inhale and exhale. And after that, slowly inhale, arms coming all the way up and interlock the fingers and bring the hands behind the head. Now, when you are ready, exhale and round your upper back and elbows coming closer and turn the left. And now all the way up and open the elbow side. Exhale, closing and come to center around your back and turn the right and inhale, opening the right and exhale again, elbows come closer and come to center and after that turn the left 
And now when you come to left, inhale, open the elbow side. Last one. Exhale and closing, come to center and turn the right and opening the elbows. And now slowly come to center. And now release the arms. And inhale, sweep the arms again over your head, interlock of the fingers and palms facing up. And exhale, twist one side. Inhale, come to center. And exhale, twist the other side. And inhale, come to center and release the arms. And slowly move and come to all fours. Then you come to all fours, hands under the shoulders and knees under the hips. And now from here, when you are ready, inhale and right arm all the way up. And this is the easy twist. And exhale down and switch the side. Inhale, left arm all the way up and exhale down. And the other side, again, uh, right arm all the way up and exhale down. And left arm, inhale up, exhale down. And tuck the toes under and sit back on your heels and push the palms away. If you like, you can do dynamic rock forward and rock back, a little bit rock forward and rock back. Or if you, if you want the static, press down the palms away and keep activating the soles of the feet and toes. And after the inhale, rock forward and walk the hands away and buttocks on the uh, top of the knees and slowly come to puppy, forehead on the floor and elbows on the floor. Make sure that your neck is relaxed, not pulling, pushing the neck. And now slowly move and sit back on your heels. And after that, walk forward and tuck the toes under and come to down face dog. This is the first down face dog, so that's why you can bend the knees as much as you like or walking to dogs or pedaling. That is the down face dog, and this is the good for upper back and shoulders. And from here, slowly move and bring the knees down. And now this time bring the elbows all the way down. So elbows under the shoulders. And start again from the right. Right hands behind the head. And now when you are ready, right elbow top down. Inhale, opening up and try to see, look up ceiling. Exhale, right elbow top. Inhale, opening up, look up. Two more, exhale, top. Inhale, up. Exhale, tap, inhale, look up, and after that, slow we come, and right elbow on the floor again. And now switch the side, L left hands, left hands behind the right, behind the head, and now first left elbow on the floor, and now when you are ready, inhale, up, and look up, Exhale, elbow down and top. Inhale, up, look up. Exhale, down, top. Inhale, look up. Exhale, down, top. Last one. 
Inhale, look up. Exhale, down, top. And again, bring the uh, elbows and palms on the floor. And now sit back, come to extended child pose. And again, inhale, come to all fours, hands under the shoulders and knees under the hips. And now from here, when you inhale, right arm all the way up, we did this one, twist, and exhale, right arm coming under the uh, torso and not touching the floor, left elbow extended, not bending. And if you, you don't need to come all the way down, left elbow extended and stay here. And one more time. Inhale all the way up. Exhale and round like a wrapping your torso and stay here. And now right palms again come to on the floor. And left side. Inhale, left arm all the way up. And exhale, come down and right elbow extended. Left arm under your torso. Keep breathing. Last one, one more time. Inhale up and look up. And exhale, round. And after that, left palms again on the floor and walk the palms away. And one more time, come to puppy. Forehead on the floor. And now from here and slowly your buttocks coming on the heels and come to extended child pose. And now walk forward, come to down face dog again. And in this down face dog, make sure your hands shoulder distance apart and feet hip distance apart and try to stretch back Try to bring the heels down, but not necessary. And stretch back, that is the key, but not poking out the chest. Neck is long between the arms. And after that from here, right leg to sky, three-legged dog and right leg step forward. Coming from here, yeah. And after that, we come to here, uh, <clears throat> low lunge, left palms on the floor and right arm all the way up and again twist, exhale down and right palms on the floor, inhale, Left arm all the way up. Exhale down. Now back heel down. Inhale all the way up. Come to warrior one. And left arm coming down and go back and come to warrior two. So gazing to front fingertips. Front knee, right knee. Bend. And left heel down, left foot pressing down. So left leg active, both legs are active. And now when you are ready, inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, right elbow coming over the right thigh. And left arm comes all the way up. So we are going to do Three cir uh, big circle. Exhale down. Inhale up. 
Exhale down. Inhale up. And come to up. And after that, slowly come to over the head and opening the left side of the body. And now slowly bring the arms down and slowly come to center and bring the feet parallel each other and legs wider apart as much as you can. Fingertips on the floor, or you can use the blocks and come to wide leg forward bend and dangling here and really nice, comfortable and relaxing posture. Head really heavy and neck is long. And now from here again, inhale, and palms or fingertips on the floor, arms <clears throat> extended. Left palms coming to center, and right arm all the way up and look up. And now right arm coming in front of you, parallel the floor, just same level of uh, right ear. And now from here, inhale up, all the way up and look up, and exhale, parallel the floor again. Inhale up, look up, and exhale, parallel the floor again. And last one, inhale up, exhale, parallel the floor, and now right palms coming on the floor, and left arms all the way up, twist. And after that, left arm coming parallel to the floor by the ear, left ear. Inhale up. Exhale parallel to the floor. Inhale up. Exhale parallel to the floor. And last one. Inhale up. And exhale parallel to the floor. And all the way come down. And one more time, forward bend. Head down as much as you can. And now slowly walk the hands to the right and come again top of the mat right foot front and right leg step back and come to three-legged dog all the way up and exhale down down face dog inhale rock forward and exhale knee chest chin scoop through and another posture baby cobra so shoulders away from the ear Another good posture for upper back and shoulder. And keep breathing. And now inhale, push yourself up and buttocks the heels, tuck the toes under, come again down face dog. Now, left leg to sky, three-legged dog, and left leg step forward. Oops. Left leg step forward and come to low lunge. <clears throat> right palms on the floor, and inhale, left arm all the way up and twist. Exhale, left palms on the floor, and inhale, right arm all the way up and twist. Exhale down. Now back heel down, inhale all the way up, warrior one. And exhale, right arm goes back and come to warrior two and gazing the front, front fingertips and both legs active.
and now from here left arm all the way up and reverse warrior left elbow left thighs and come to side angle stretch arms first vertical <clears throat> and after that three circle exhale down inhale up one exhale down inhale up two exhale down inhale up three and after that right arm over the right ear and keep breathing and now exhale bring the fingertips down again both feet parallel walk the fingertip to center and first forward bend one more time wide legged forward bend and bring the hands on the hips and when you are ready engage the belly and inhale all the way up and after that inhale arms coming over your head and exhale interlock the fingers on your lower back and notice the which index finger top and now from here <clears throat> elbows bent and opening the chest and knuckles away from the body and now when you are ready exhale engage the belly and all the way coming down and again forward bend but interlock the fingers and arms all the way up as much as you can. And release the hands and hands coming on the floor. And now, which side of your uh, top of the mat walk the hands and turn the body top of your mat and now step back come again three-legged dog and bring the foot down and come to down face dog and walk forward come to plank and exhale knee chest chin scoot through baby cobra and after that, bring the elbows down. Another good posture for upper back. So come to Spanx position, elbows under the shoulder. If you this one is too much, you can bring the, always your elbows away from the body. So this is the more gentle back bend. It doesn't matter how. Uh, you bring the upper back, upper body high up. It doesn't matter how you did the back bend, deep back bend. Here is the key, shoulders away from the ears. That is the important, chest is open, neck is long. And after that, push the palms, push the elbows, stick the bumps up and drag hold your body and sit back again, extended child pose. And now slowly come up. And from here, last moment, we are coming to... <clears throat> sitting both legs first i am going to do a left side bending the both legs towards the left like a double l shape so you can use the blocks or cushion sit up elevate your hips so make sure your both buttocks on the floor 
So from here, uh, I'm not mirroring you. So my legs is towards the left side and right palms just a little bit away from the right hips on the floor. And now from here, I'm sinking into the right hip, a right uh, shoulder. So my right shoulder actually touching to my right ear. Normally I do say, don't do this, don't do this, but you can do now. Right shoulder touching the right ear. Left arm all the way up, and after that left hands behind the head. So again, middle of the um, spines uh, movement. So when you are ready, Exhale and round your back, turn the right, elbow goes down. Actually, gentle twist. Inhale, opening and look up. We did similar things when we do the uh, all fours. Exhale and round. Inhale opening two more exhale round and look down inhale opening and last one exhale round inhale opening so arms extended towards the sky you can do the same things actually with the arms like this. This is much easier. And now arms coming twist and wrapping your body torso. And gentle twist again. Inhale, opening and you can look back this time. You can bring the arms a little bit back. And exhale and rounding, wrap the arms on your body. Inhale, opening, and look back. You can do a little bit more twist. And exhale, wrapping, look down. This is the last one. Inhale, and opening. And exhale, release, come to center. So bring the feet on the floor and drop the knees side to side. When we are actually in this position, uh, we are uh, happening to action, upper body and also good uh, hip opener when the legs double L shape like this. For example, I find this side sitting is much more a uh, challenge for me. Yeah, feet flex and this time left palms just a little bit away from the left hip and sink into the left shoulder. Left shoulder almost touching the left ear. Inhale, right arm all the way up and right hands behind the head. So four repetition. And now when you are ready, exhale, elbow goes down and turn the torso and twist. Inhale, opening and look up. Exhale, turn and down. Inhale, opening and look up. Exhale, turn and down. Inhale, opening and look up. Last one. Exhale, turn and down. Inhale, come to center and arms, right arm extended to sky and exhale, twist back and look back. And now, sorry, exhale. Now arms coming under the torso and turn and twist down. Inhale, opening and look back. Exhale, round your arms over the torso and look down. 
Inhale, opening and look back. Exhale, round, look down. Inhale, opening and look back. Last one, exhale, round, dropping your body and down. And inhale, look up and back. And now slowly release the hands and come again center and feet on the floor and slowly drop the knees side to side. If your room is really uh, a light up, you can turn down the uh, or turn off the lights. And now we are coming to the uh, final relaxation. But this time we are going to find a relaxation, nothing any supporting. Again, lie down like beginning of the class, lie down on your back, <clears throat> legs extended, arms by your side and palms facing up. And if you can remember beginning of the class, you lie down like this. Can you feel the change or maybe everything's the same? So again, back of the head, neck, right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, right collarbone, left collarbone, Right arm, left arm, right palm, left palm, right elbow and left elbow. And finally checking your face, jaw, relax. And feel the sensation, right side and left side. And now from here, slowly move the arms all the way up over your head on the floor. And how do you feel now? Again, top of the hands, right hands and left hand. Right arm, left arm. Right shoulder, left shoulder. Right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade. And again, face and neck. Any difference? Beginning of the class and now. And where do you feel the sensation is most? Strong sensation, maybe on the shoulders. Maybe in the palms. And now slowly, first right knee towards the chest. And notice how it's now when you compare the beginning of the class. And right foot down. And left knee towards the chest. And how do you feel? And left foot on the floor. And now cupping your knees with your hands. And gently towards the knees towards the chest and exhale. Inhale, knees away from the chest. Two more. Exhale, knees to chest. 
in her knees away. Exhale, knees to chest, in her knees away. And after that, bring the feet down. And now, right arms, only right arms over the head on the floor. And turn over the whole body, turn the right. So right arm coming under your head like a pillow, left palms in front of your chest. This is nice recovery position using the arm, right arm as a pillow. And best way to come up, bend the right elbow and Press down the right elbow, press the left palms and push yourself up and come again. Sit any up, upright position. I hope uh, when you do the second time, bring the arms over your head on the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope you feel the some change, more freedom, maybe more fluid movement, arms coming all the way up on the floor. And uh, this practice we have done more shoulders and upper back for the round shoulder and round uh, back. So I hope you enjoy it and Last one is we are sealing the practice. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, palms together, and exhale, hands to forehead for good talks, and hands to mouth for good talk, hands to heart for good love, and namaste. And thank you, you joined me today. And see you next time. Bye.